We've looked into force, deflection, spring rate and stress in the earlier videos in this series. Let's now have a look at some of the key variables in compression spring design. Here I've listed a set of variables taken from a spring design. Crucially, I've left mean diameter, wire diameter, pitch and the number of active coils blank. Let's start with mean diameter. Mean diameter is calculated as follows. Mean diameter equals stress over 8 times force over pi times wire diameter to the power of 3. So our force will be 11.63 newtons. I need a wire diameter even though we'll be working it out later, but the equations are interchangeable so we can always mix them up depending on our unknowns. So the wire diameter just for this calculation will be 0.8 millimeters in this instance and the wire stress will be 648 megapascals. Plug these variables into the equation as shown and we get an optimal mean diameter of 11.20 millimeters. Mean diameter is calculated as follows. Diameter is equal to or greater than square root to the power of 3 8 times mean diameter times force over pi times wire stress. For the wire diameter we can sub in the mean diameter of 11.20 millimeters we just worked out. The other variables remain unchanged. Let's plug them into the equation and we can confirm the optimal wire diameter is greater or equal to 0.8 millimeters. Pitch is a product of deflection plus number of active coils times wire diameter over number of active coils. Active coil count being 6, wire diameter as worked out previously and a deflection of 26.23 millimeters. And the equation gives us a pitch of 5.17 millimeters. Pitch varies as a function of N type choice. This subject is further explored in the spring N type videos that follow in this series. Number of active coils can be calculated as follows. Number of active coils equal modulus of rigidity times wire diameter to the power of 4 times deflection over 8 times mean diameter to the power of 3 times force. Rigidity appears for the first time in the inputs. Plugging the inputs into the equation, we see that the active coil count is 6. Active coils are another variable that changes depending on the spring n-type, and this will be explored in the n-type videos that follow in this series.